Yo, what's good YouTube? It's your boy, Madonna Saigon, aka Axel Rose, aka Xbox King, aka the only Xbox fan, keeping it real on YouTube. And we finna talk gaming. Now, since the inception and reveal of both new consoles last year, we've seen their feature set change up quite a bit with one console changing more than the other. And I'd just like to take a look at some of the changes and how they've infected both machines today. Now, if we look at the PlayStation 4 last year, it was touted as the world's most powerful video games console and just being all about games. But if we look at Sony's press conference at E3 this year, we can see that they have a lot more than just games in the pipeline. For instance, they spent a long time talking about new shows coming to the PlayStation 4, such as Powers. They also spent some time talking about the YouTube upgrade. And honestly, I do not mind any of those things. That's all good. But one thing that's very interesting is that certain features like MP3 and MP4 playback on the PlayStation 4 have been held off. And yes, if we have no choice, things like an instant movie streaming service or instant music streaming service will instantly seem more appealing. Very clever, Sony. But if we took a look at Microsoft, we can see that the Xbox One has really changed. Hey, your word B, hey, your word Brook. I've really had enough of you talking about that Xbox B. It's morphing time! Whoa! It worked! Huh! Don't you ever, ever talk bad about the Xbox! I will defeat you with the power of 792p and connect! And I am always on! I have the power of 792p! 792p! 7! Now, the PlayStation 4 isn't the only console which has undergone changes since launch. The Xbox One is also in the same boat. What we want to figure out is if the Xbox One already underwent those changes because of the success of the PlayStation 4. Now, bear this in mind, whether this is a fact or not, it doesn't matter because it benefits us gamers positively. So fanboys, cool down. Now, things like the paywall on the apps me personally, I reckon that always had to go. But seeing that there was a direct competition that was being very successful and hearing that many of your previous customers have transferred over to the competition may have had a direct effect on Microsoft taking away these features from live. Also, the whole thing about Connect being one and entangled with the system has been touted and pretty much forced on us since launch. Didn't want to use the word forced, but in a way, it is what it is. But seeing them remove the connect from the overall box and, you know, take away some of its assets from the actual console itself with the GPU power is a, is a really big step. And we do wonder if that was brought on by the fact that Sony came out with a console with no camera that was cheaper and they also had a lot of space on board on their GPU which was reserved for just graphics. And with all the things like resolution gate being consistent factors this gen, maybe Microsoft want to do things to alleviate that pressure. Let me know what you think. Now, let me know what you think about the subject in the comment section. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video. Special shout outs to Illmatic, The Big Kahuna, Tabo Entertainment, and Illustrious Industries. That's it. Now everybody, make sure you remember the golden rule. No hating in the comment section and keep it gaming. All right, everybody have a dope day. Like, subscribe, share. Who's <laughs> it?